Now, you know, the, the truth is, despite some obvious benefits of dealing with someone's hearing loss, it's sometimes hard to implement a new program at a hospital or any big organization. So tell me a little bit about what kind of barriers you encountered and what you did to navigate them. Yeah, very fair point. Um, and I would say that for this project, uh, you know, we were hit with exceptional resistance. But it's not because of shoebox or because there wasn't a will to do this. It was that we were hit with a pandemic. COVID-19 right. happened and, you know, everything was sort of thrown into tailspin. Um, but interestingly enough, you know, very quickly we realized at Briere, uh, as we were, you know, implementing new COVID-19 measures such as mask mandates, that hearing became ever even more important because now not only were there potential uh, patients and families that that had a, a an existing hearing issue, but now people were wearing masks, and it's even harder to understand what people are saying. It's even harder to hear what your doctor is telling you you need to do in order to get better. And so Shoebox was a great catalyst in us being able to respond to a new, a new world order in healthcare here, a new way of, of how care was going to be delivered or a new normal, so that we were equipping our frontline workers with a tool that told them right off the bat whether or not they needed to pay more attention to um, whether or not the patient that they're talking to can hear what they're saying, can follow the care plan that they're, that they're putting forward. And so making sure that our patients and care teams were able to have that critical two-way communication was really important. Amazing. I, I just love all that you said there because the uh, you know, mission and, and vision at Shoebox is to have a, an impact on people's lives. You know? uh, and so to hear that uh, addressing that at the hospital level is really impacting these patients' care is just, is just great. Thanks for telling us about the project and uh, we look forward to hearing more. Thanks. So when you think about the future, what sort of impact has that had on you know, the best practice at the hospital and what your physicians are doing? And what are your plans to uh, scale at Briere? So as you know, um, the research that we try to do, we always want that to ultimately end up with better patient care. And so this is a perfect example of that. And um, the immediate effect of using the quick test in our geriatric inpatient was an increase of over 60% of physicians checking for uh, checking ears for wax. Um, we had a significant number of physicians now using a pocket talker while they were speaking with patients. We've had an increase in the number of patients referred to audiology. And what's really interesting is it's not just about the physicians, it's about the whole care team. And so the hearing loss that was identified was shared with the physicians as well as the rest of the care team. And so now the physios, the nurses, the occupational therapists, anybody who's working with the patients are now paying attention to the hearing loss that's identified. So it's really an interdisciplinary team impact that we've had uh, with this care. At Briere, I think, you know, we have a fairly large healthcare provider uh, organization. We have five campuses, two long-term care, a transitional care um, uh, facility. We have a rehab and palliative care hospital, as well as a complex continuing care hospital. So we started in one area with our memory program, and we are now expanding into four areas for actual implementation of shoebox memory, our geriatric day hospital, our specialized services in our complex continuing care hospital, as well as our rehabilitation. But there's a potential for going further into the other campuses. We have two, like I said, long-term care and our transitional, and these are all people over 65 or the majority. And so if we're able to then impact hearing across our organization, the social and health outcomes are just gonna be that much better for all of our patients and residents. That's an amazing uh, piece of feedback for us. And thank you so much for sharing uh, how this has affected you at your hospital and what your plans are. We're really excited to follow along with you and uh, iteratively improve if we can on uh, you know, investigating and supporting patients hearing as they go through the, through the hospital uh, process. Thank Looking you forward again. to working with you. Thanks, Matt. Now, 
It's not always easy. In fact, it's almost never easy bringing new technology into a hospital and often requires essentially what happened here, which was a public private partnership where the hospital is a publicly funded organization is working with a company. Sometimes that has its challenges and, and sometimes it works out really well. Tell us how it was like working with Shoebox. Oh, Shoebox was a dream. Like couldn't picture a better team to be working with. Um, Shoebox is grounded in medical history, like yourself as the founder, Dr. Bromwich, um, working within the medical field for your whole career. Um, so, so the team at Shoebox understood our organization and what was happening and the complexities of our specific organization. From there, we had two amazing project leads. They were able to, again, understand our problem, but also provide different perspectives that haven't been seen so much in um, in kind of the hearing journey of particularly our departments. So um, just bringing to the forefront how important hearing is, providing us with the most up-to-date literature on just how huge of an undisclosed um, issue hearing loss is. And then of course, project management from day one, um, access to their whole team, support for setup, uh, support for any issues that we are running through. Um, just just really high touch hands um, the whole way and really made us feel confident that we were going down the right path. Amazing. You know, that really warms my heart to hear because the whole purpose of developing this new medical technology is what's called translational research, taking it out of the research laboratory and putting it into the real world. And this kind of technology implementation is exactly what I want to see. So thank you so much for taking the time to explain how it worked for you guys.